Hi there, and welcome to M How Nine's Fish Tanks. My name is Mike, and welcome back to the fish farm. Today we're filming from a different location because I have a little bit of a surprise for you. The Ocellaris clownfish in the first tank over this way have spawned. With that being said, uh, this gives me an opportunity to share with you a little bit about clownfish breeding and rearing the fry. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, one of the easiest ways to get a pair of clownfish is basically to buy two fish. The larger fish uh, will become the female, the smaller fish will become the male. Uh, there you go. Or if you're at the fish store, you see one's larger than the other, uh, go ahead and uh, you know, buy one large one, one small one. The large one will be the female, small one will be the male. Now that we've spoken about pairing your clownfish and getting a male and two female, and assuming you have eggs, let's go ahead here and talk about the life cycle of the clownfish itself. This life cycle has four phases. The first phase is the egg. The second phase is the larva. The third phase is the juvenile clownfish, and then finally you have your adult. Once you have your eggs, the eggs will generally hatch in six to ten days depending on temperature and the species. The eggs will start as a bright orange color and will get darker with time, turning clear and then silvery, and you can see the eyes of the actual fish themselves once they're ready to hatch. Once your eggs have hatched, they will become larvae. These larvae will become part of the zooplankton and will live in this state for approximately two weeks. At that point, they will go through something called metamorphosis, much like a butterfly does, and will actually turn into a juvenile fish and settle out into the reef, or in this case, the bottom of your rearing container. At this point, they become the juvenile fish and then they will grow into adulthood. Now that we understand the, what goes into the ecosystem, uh, let's talk a little bit about how you set up the ecosystem. Basically, you will need to set up this ecosystem in either a blacked out 10 gallon tank or a black round tub. I prefer the black round tub personally, but that's a matter of personal preference. Most people are successful either with the 10 gallon tank or the black round tub, doesn't really matter. Um, you wanna fill up the black round tub with water, uh, treat it with your algae, and add your rotor first. Uh, one note here is you will have to culture your rotor for separately, uh, uh, which we will cover in another installment of this video series on raising the clownfish. But to this point, you need to add rotor first, algae, and of course your clownfish larva on hatch night. Uh, from there, you will want to eventually get them onto prepared foods. Um, I like to use the Otohime series. Uh, they have an A, B, C, D, and E. They come from reed bear culture. Um, they're treated with astaxanthin. Uh, which is a basically a red coloring agent. So I will go ahead and show that as well once we really get into rearing these fish. Uh, this is just a general overview on the basic process. Uh, so once you get them onto the prepared foods, uh, in about two weeks or so, like we mentioned earlier, they will go through into metamorphosis and settlement. Uh, once you've been in it for about a month or two, you can start thinking really about moving them to a larval tank or a rearing tank. Uh, so you can move them out of the larval system and actually raise them up in their own tank. This is the basic overview of rearing the clownfish. Um, in our next video of this series, we'll actually show the we'll try to show the hatching, as well as we'll set we'll show the setting up of the actual larval tank itself. I do want to get this out here since we do have the eggs and the fish have spawned. So thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.